All right, guys, today we're going to be playing Rip and Top Lane, and we're going to be playing with Electrocute. We're going to be trying to do as much damage as we possibly can within, like, one single combo. So, My spirit what we're going to be doing this game is probably go with the Paralysis Claw build to counter Kale. I'll show you how strong that is. So, firstly, we have Electrocute. We got Sun Impact, Eyeball, Ingenious. We also have Nullifying Orb, and we also have Transcendence. Along with this, we also have a longsword. It's going to be uh, perfect here. Ooh, smart person. For the first time ever, I get to play against a Kale who actually knows about the level 1 cheese. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Usually, uh, what you can do against Kale at level 1 is always go with the cheese. At level 1 right away. And most of the time, they don't really know about it. There we go. So long I've wandered. <clears throat> Very smart Kale, actually. Alright, so the way how we're going to play out this matchup is very simple. I'm just going to play very aggressive in the pre-level 3. Going to make sure that this wave is going to crash in the tower. And by doing so, we can reset the wave once again. And um, we can use that to kill Kale at level 4 5. I'll show you. So this wave is going to crash in the tower. We're going to reset right now. And then once we walk back, this wave should be around here or should start stacking up. Oh, wow. This Kale is very smart. All right, let's go for this one. Guys, I can't say this enough. There is so many people that never use Brawless Claw. It actually kind of blows my mind, seriously. There are certain matchups. So, you know, let's say the Kale matchup, um, the Cannon matchup, and a few other matchups where if you go Brawless Claw, you just pop off like crazy, man. It's so easy to snowball those matchups with the item. Also, by the way, quick mention, Casual Bebop. Hey, thank you so much for the sub prime, man. Thank you so much for the support and helping me out. Learn from your mistakes. All right, so just like I predicted, the wave is now in the center of the lane. So what I'm going to do now is try and proc the bone plate from Kale. And then we'll see if we can actually turn it around once again. Now she's going to actively move up here. Proc the bone plate, then we back out once again. All I care about is just proc the bone plate. She will go for the cannon. And that's where she goes down. I love to see like how Kale is playing out this lane. She, like she definitely did like so many smart things like Predicting my level 1 cheese and cancelling my backboard and a couple other things. I'm not going to lie, this skill is very, very smart. But unfortunately for her, like the way how we approach Kale in lane right now, she can't really do that much against us aside from just playing it safely. Because um, by uh, with the cheater recall we just did, we just got like an item advantage. The wave is like pushing towards me, so she doesn't really have a way to play this lane out. You know. So much death. All right. So once again, all we have to do right now, simply proc the bone plate. Otherwise, we just have to reset. Uh, wait a second. To end Here we go. Get this wave down, then we're gonna make sure to reset. There we go. She can freeze the wave because it's too massive. So this time, we're gonna go with Warhammer. We're gonna be directly going for Prowless Law. And I'll take this one. Probably what most of you guys would do is go for Lethality. 
after going for a Warhammer. But be aware, guys, one of the crucial things about winning arranged matchups is going for tier 1 boots. Because without movement speed, you're going to get kited down pretty hard. So it's definitely okay if you're going to swap around like one longsword just so you can actually obtain the, the tier 1 boots. Because it's going to make your laning phase de uh, definitely a li little bit better. I don't want to touch this wave simply because the wave will push into me and I'm going to use that to kill this guy again. How should I proceed? I'm not going to touch the wave here because if I if I do then it's going to push back. Let's we'll wait a bit. Smart smart person. Learn from your so the scale went back when I tried to engage. She's going to try to go for the cannon right here. Yep, she lost the cannon. Awesome. So even though we might not be able to trade her right now, she's still losing all the farm. Whew. Another one we missed. I want to try to proc the bone plate from Kale. That's pretty much all I care about. But it seems like she's standing so far away that she's literally missing all the farm. Look how far she's standing away. <laughs> My spirit is not lost. <laughs> All right, she's becoming a little bit more aggressive now. Oh, so we're getting ganged. Okay. Oh, it's also going for a flash. Alright, bye. I'm gonna TP back. I don't really think that he can do much. So I'm specifically gonna go for Lucidity Boots so we can actually chase this Kale a lot better now. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna freeze the wave down. Gotcha. I specifically like throw my ultimate out very late because she had her ultimate and we had to like kind of predict it. So uh, it's going to be tricky. Wow. Fortunately. Oh, <laughs> close, man. <laughs> It's so unbelievably close right there. <laughs> awesome. Let's get back to base. So this time we're going to go for lethality. We're going to take the Dirk. And then after that, uh, we will go for another longsword. So I think for the build, we're going to go for Prowler's Claw. It's going to combine pretty well together with Ingenious. And then after Prowler's Claw, I think I might actually go for Ghost Blade. And then I think I'll probably go for Edge of the Night. So we're going to go for like a full lethality build, which is going to work pretty well here. They don't really have tanks in the game. All right. She's gonna play very safe again, obviously. She's losing all the farm here. She's standing so far away that we can never trade her. If we engage with my all my dashes, then uh, wait a second.
She will eventually start moving up again. Like, she's actually missing, like, a lot of farm right now. I think that she's even standing far away. So far away that she doesn't even get XP anymore at this point. Choose your own path. No fear, man. If we get Prowl the Claw, we can just, like, dash in turn and we can proc the item. Uh, I mean, use the item and then just kill her right away. You'll see. We're stacking wave right now. So once we, uh, once we reset, we can finally afford it. Uh, wait, let me see where it is. Here we go. You'd like a 100 gold. Will she move up? Got the bone plane. Pretty good. Okay, the wave, well, it's stacking back into us, so we can do the same thing now. We can just freeze the wave down, see what happens. Ooh, the scale's playing so far away. I've seen so many versions of kill players. I've seen ones that I, uh, that I can snowball on super easily. I've also seen ones where... Kill players who don't even stand in XP range anymore. And then you have like kill players like this. Very similar, but they sometimes they play aggressive, they move up to you, and then they try to kill you. And sometimes they just stand so far away that you can't even reach them. They're, they're literally standing like outside of the XP range. Okay, let's go back. We're getting ganked by Vex right now. Yup. Let's go for Prowler's Claw. Where, uh, next item we're gonna go for is going to be a Ghost Blade. And, uh, we'll take Red Trinket too. Uh, by the way, real quick. Uh, just in case you guys are seeing, like, the camera glitching a little bit. Sorry about that because it's uh it's kinda of broken. So you know, don't worry if you see the uh, the camera glitching because it's not you, it's me. So just so you know. Well, okay. Hmm. I had to flash it because I was about to get like bursted by a, by a brand and stuff. Whoops, missed the cannon. Learn from your mistakes. Wow. Well, that sucks. This Brent has been freezing the wave down. Smart Kale. Like, this is the first time I play against a Kale who's actually smart enough to, like, stand back this far, to be honest. It's quite rare seeing those people. Usually people lose their minds playing Kale because it, it takes quite some effort to uh, play this champion save. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I play Kale myself quite a bit, so I know exactly what it's like, uh, but... It's quite rare seeing these people like this Kale, like, actually holding on for this long, playing this, like, this save. Usually if I play Kale myself, like, I, I tend to play very aggressive all the time. I don't... I find this kind of place all super boring. It's not really my cup of tea, you know. Got you. Thanks to the Prowler's Claw, we can actually get this guy super easily.
All right, let's get the... Uh... Oh, this guy panicked. Like, he panicked, man. He, like, he dropped down his uh, counter ward, like, instantly. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Absolutely. I think I might be able to kill this guy again, because I'm pretty sure he's going to walk past this bush. It's going to be quite challenging to kill him, but let's see, because we don't have my ultimate, and I believe that Kale does have the ultimate now. I believe. We also miss out on my items, so... Huh? She walked from the jungle. Okay. That is quite an interesting experience. Kale is actually really smart because the, my level 1 cheese actually failed. He knew about my level 1 cheese and now he also knows about me sitting in that brush. What? That's actually quite a, an interesting experience, I'm not gonna lie. This Kale like knew exactly where I was. I wonder like where this Kale saw me actually. Yo, this kill, I'm not gonna lie, this guy knows exactly like how to avoid. He's pretty good at this stuff. Ha <laughs> ha, got you. My ultimate does a lot of damage. Especially if you're going with this build. You know what, after this game, I will re I will literally spectate this game. I just want to see like how on earth this Kale knew that I was standing in that bush there. I'm going to re-spectate that game and I'll just see what happens. That leaves me very, very curious to like how she knew that. Because usually like people don't really know that you can't really see a person walking in that bush. And it's also quite uncommon that they walk like around the jungle. But who knows, maybe I'm completely wrong and she's like super mega smart. Maybe, I don't know. Usually like this tactic works pretty well, so. It's quite rare seeing people like finding out. Thank you. Uh, maybe. Ah, she's running that way. <clears throat> Alright, let's get the next wave and then we're gonna back out. Awesome. Now let's get ourselves back to base. We're gonna go for... We're gonna go for Ghost Blade, and next item will be Edge of the Night. So. Oh man, that's been a while. I'm not gonna lie. Usually, if I play, um, if I play Prowler's Claw, usually I go for Black Lever into Sterics Gauge because it, it's consistently. Um, most games just better because you're more tanky and uh, you have the, you know, the ability to jump into team fights without dying super fast. But I'm not gonna lie though, if you're going Prodder Claw, you have Goish Blade, and you're going Edge of the Night, go like full lethality. Um, it actually feels pretty good, like having so much damage. You know, the only problem is that you're kind of weak. Like people can all in you quite easily. But in games like this, where they play these kind of champs, like it's actually very, very good. Like it works super well. Okay, you're dead. Well, you're still dead, man. I got my ghost blade in like two seconds. Good luck at surviving this. And 
right here you go you, you you better kite this down man there we go got him all right this time we're gonna go for this wave we'll take the uh, we'll take the camp here and then we're gonna back out <laughs> oh man Whew. I bet you the enemy team must have been thinking like what what is that Riven doing <laughs> you know um, <clears throat> I was just trying some stuff you know can't complain. <laughs> let's go for uh, let's go for Grudge. So let's talk about that play right there, right? I was uh, I was actually think I was I, I had like a picture in my mind of uh, killing Brand with my ultimate when he walked around the corner. You know, and then having to like re-engage with. Uh, it's 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 hard to explain, but I would re-engage and then kill the other people too. But uh yeah. My spirit is not lost. I'm gonna run bot lane again. We're gonna do the same thing. Here it comes. Obviously warts everywhere, makes sense. Awesome. They will probably think that we are there for the fight. Meanwhile... I got you. I could have killed Sona there. I could have done it, actually. But thankfully, I didn't. Because I think that there was a guy right, right behind him. Probably. Okay, let's get this one. Team just needs to force the inhib. We uh, gotta go for Baron right now. What? Oh, my Prowler's Claw was cancelled. But specifically in the right time though. Too bad. I'm trying to bait, but it's not really working. <laughs> All right. Well, awesome. I think that this is probably going to be the game here. Or maybe, probably not, because they are spawning like 10 seconds right now. Never mind, actually. <laughs> Alright, let's get back. They don't even try. Oh, she's gonna go for the ward. Oh, man, that's so risky, actually. <laughs> so, let's go for... Let's go for this. Let's go for the, the dam... Let's just go for pure damage. I think that my final item will probably be a Guardian's Angel, though. Like, we just need some kind of, like, survivability. Just a little...
Hello, Brand. There's no warts down here. Last nice flash. Oh, of course. <laughs> I was going to jump over the wall right there, but I'm pretty sure if I jumped over that wall, just kill would have ulted and probably killed me, so <laughs> I'm not going to bother too much. Oh, maybe. Alright, Kel, just come on. Oh, she knows. Stick the wave. Yeah, I want to jump in there, man. I want to so badly. Wait a second. Okay, let's take the tower away. Hmm. Woo! <laughs> she, uh, I did so much damage together with Yasuo that this person couldn't even, like, Fear us backwards. He can't even pop the his uh, his W anymore. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, my team's going in. Awesome. Let's get the tower away. Spot my ultimate. Either way, guys, this is uh, Riven, you know, with Electrocute and Prowler's Claw into full lethality. Thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.